hello friends this is the 14th video tutorial inside the video lecture series on machine learning so in this tutorial we are going to see about how you can find the descriptive statistics uh, with on the machine learning data set with the help of very just few lines of codes inside the python so for that we are going to use about the pandas library inside this python so let's start so in this tutorial we are going to use about this data set of adult.data i have taken this data from this uci machine learning uh, library so let's see about how that data uh, looks like so adult.names so this data is about the information about the adult people whose age work class or even education marital status sex capital gain house hours per week they work actually the races the relationship uh, and the native com country in which they belongs so this kind of feature has been given and based on all those feature they have given the last class which is whether their income is greater than fifty thousand dollar or not that is what the class is so let's uh, try to import it and let's better visualize it so for each of this uh, individual features what i did actually i have created a small array inside this python and the last element of this index i have kept at this class which the which nothing but it shows that whether individual person has income greater than $50,000 or not so let's try to import this uh, data so we are going to use the pandas library so let's import the pandas first so this is uh, basically the csv uh, file so we are going to use uh, df is equal to pd dot read csv and we will supply this adult dot data url and we need to provide the header name also so for that i have already created this array for the header okay so what we did actually we are reading this csv file from this remote location and we are supplying name is equal to index okay let's read there is a typo here okay so it started reading this symbol signifies that the machine is busy the kernel is still running so it is downloading that data this data is not very not very big but uh, it's around 3 to 4 mb so it takes little time to download so let's proceed ahead uh, first task is let's visualize uh, let's see uh, display the couple of data before it got downloaded so we'll use the head functionality and it will display the first file okay it has done so this part is complete let's display it okay so it has displayed the first file record from this data frame object so it is age work class education marital status occupation occupation can be managerial or cleaners or space professor speciality relationship not in a family or is in a husband or is a wife race will be like a white or a black or sex will be male female capital gain hours per week its native country so this is all data we have seen how we can read the data now how this pandas library descriptive statistics related functionality we can use to gain 
the information about this data in a very minimal amount of code and minimal amount of time so let's see what is the dimension of this data how we can get it so we have this data frame framework it has a shape attribute associated with it so it has shown us the 32561 is nothing but the total number of records total number of people's data is available and a 15 is nothing but the total features so this is all total 15 features are available so immediately with just this one attribute we got that we in our data set there are total 32561 records are there now suppose we want to know about the attribute uh, each attributes data type so whether uh, some data type is looks like a uh, string or some data types looks like a uh, integer some are might be the floating value so let's see how that is so for on df we'll apply d types okay so it has given us like age is stored inside this 64 bit integer work class is nothing but the object so that is a, a very uh, complex object inside the python that will be nothing but as a string education is a object and uh, education number is a 64 bit integer capital gain is 64 bit integer so in this way all attribute features data type immediately we can see now why that is important because uh, while designing your machine learning system you can give importance to some of the mm, feature and uh, you can discard some of the feature so like uh, you can see that uh, this is the education number so which sometimes doesn't make sense uh, that uh, it has any relation with your total income uh, will be greater than fifty thousand dollar or not so you can discard this kind of uh, feature based on by seeing the attribute so this way we can get lot of idea about individual features uh, data type now let's see descriptive statistics so for the descriptive statistics uh, with a very short function describe is there inside this pandas library so what it will do actually for each of the feature which is having all numerical value it just immediately calculate these are the values for us so for age this fnl weight education number capital gain capital loss and hours per week these are the feature which is a numerical value so this uh, function will be applied on the numerical features only so for all of this feature it just immediately calculates how many total counts are there so there is the 32,561 that is nothing but the total records we have 32,561 so all those record has a age at least what is the mean value of age what is the standard deviation of it what is the minimum of age what is the 25 percentile of this age so top 25 percent of people age lies in which range what is the maximum value of this age so in this way for all of the feature which is the numerical uh, this describe function will immediately give us this many number of functionality immediately so that we can come to know about that individual feature has a different different range its maximum value and minimum value range will be different uh, where their uh, mean value that is also a different so total number of records almost all feature has this many features so there is uh, no record which is having any none value so if any of this feature has a less value than uh, lesser than this 32,561 count then we can surely tell that there are some of the missing records so this way you can predict that uh, the how your data is because uh, this 32,561 manually you can't go one by one record but with such a small function uh, function you can come to know about that how your data is actually from the descriptive way 
now class distribution what does the class distribution mean suppose we want to see that of on those how many people is which is having a income greater than $50,000 and how many people have a income which is less than $50,000 so the very last column if we see which is signifying that individual the adult has income less than $50,000 or greater than there are just five records we have shown so all five records are less than $50,000 so let's uh, try to find how many people has greater than 50,000 and how many people has less than 50,000 so there is a one group by functionality is there so we will apply those group by on the top of this class attribute so attribute is nothing but this class so we have grouped the data based on the class feature and we will apply the size on the top of it so it will tell us the total 24,720 people which is having an income less than $50,000 and 7,841 7 people has a income greater than $50,000 so it just immediately tell us how many people are lying into one class of group and how many people lies in a second class of group because based on that uh, if we can uh, apply some machine learning algorithm what kind of technique we need to apply on the top of it now let's see um, what is the correlation between the attribute so it may happen that there are some of the attribute which is highly uh, relevant to each, uh, each other there are some of the attribute which is not at all relevant to uh, each other so let's see how we can find uh, with uh, pandas uh, function so df dot there is a one ma matter core and you can apply which way you want to calculate this so there are Pearson coefficient way we will calculate the correlation between the individual attribute ok so for all of the numeric data it has shown us the correlation between individual attributes so you can take any one of them like a age and a capital gain so it has a strong positive correlation actually but uh, if you consider this uh, capital gain with the capital loss there is a negative correlation so based on the positive or negative correlation you can decide that how much one feature is dependent on other feature and how much one feature is independent of another feature so this kind of information will be a uh, very helpful while designing your machine learning system how much weight you need to give to individual data how much uh, uh, how many maybe attribute you need to discard it or there may happen that some of the attributes are uh, just completely obsolete because that is a, a nothing but the part of another attribute so it doesn't make sense to even include it whether we can exclude or we can drop some of the column also we can come to know about we can see even a skewness of individual feature so there is a skew function is there so it has shown as the for age actually education number capital gain capital loss for all of the things it has shown us the skewness of individual features that how much skewness is there for individual feature in all value it has been given in 64 bit floating value so uh, that's it for this lecture friends so in this lecture uh, we have seen about uh, how with just a couple of uh, few commands in the pandas library we can find all those statistics related information about your uh, data for taking your further decision inside the machine learning system design uh, so that's it for this lecture i have already created uh, pandas uh, video lecture series uh, the description uh, in the description i have given the link you can uh, check it out for that because uh, as we are going to start about the machine learning uh, tutorial uh, machine learning coding actually inside this uh, sky kit learn library so before that i thought that let's uh, try to f go with the 
how we can analyze the data very easily in a very fast manner so that's it for this lecture friends uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it